Today I'm here with a super exciting TBR for the Buzzwordathon. This readathon is going to be from January 14th to January 20th and it's hosted by Lala over at Books with Lala. It's also co-hosted by Natasha from My Reading is Odd so I'll leave both of their links down below as well as the Twitter for the readathon. So the buzzword for this readathon round is lie, liar, lied lying. So I have a total of eight books that I'm going to attempt to read in a week. Is that going to happen? No, I'll probably not even get through one, but we like to have choices here on this channel. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is Lies You Never Told Me by Jennifer Donaldson. This book follows two separate teenagers who both fell for the wrong people and it's their story of trying to like backtrack and you know, figure all that shit out that comes along with bad relationships, but I'm excited. This was on my most anticipated releases when it first came out and I've still yet to read it, so I'm hoping that I actually do pick this one up because I clearly wanted to read it and we still haven't done it, so this is the perfect excuse. The next book I have is My Husband Lies by Caroline England. This book follows a almost married couple. On the day of their wedding, their close friend is on the edge of the hotel roof ready to jump. As they're trying to get their friend to come down from the ledge, they quickly realize that their friend group is hiding a lot of secrets. I'm just super excited to see what these secrets are, and clearly the husband's got something that they're hiding because it's literally called My Husband Lies, so... I'm ready to find out what kind of bad things he's doing because it's always the husband's fault. Remember that, ladies. The next book I have is Lie to Me by J.T. Ellison, and this is another one of the books that have been on my shelf forever. It follows a couple who seem to have the perfect life, and then the wife goes missing, and all the blame kind of lands on the husband, and it's him trying to clear his name for his wife's disappearance. But I'm excited, and I recently got the sequel to this from the thrift store, so another excuse to read this so that I can read the second book. The next book that I have is actually a super popular one because the sequel is coming out sometime very shortly, but I still have not picked up this first book, so another great excuse. It's One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, and there's been a lot of like mixed reviews about this, but I know that it's been compared to like The Breakfast Club with Murder. So personally, I'm here for it, and hopefully I actually like it if we pick it up. The next book that I have is called Secrets, Lies, and Alibis by Patricia H. Rushford and Harrison James, and I honestly don't really know what this one is about, but I know that I liked the cover because it has holes in it, and I like things like that, but I'm gonna I guess that uh, there's some murder in here and some lying and spies, so... I'm here for it. I'm excited. The back of the book says there's a headline murder and a rookie investigator and a race against the clock and against his past, so murder, murder, stabby, stabby, which is my kind of thing. The next book I have is Beautiful Lies by Lisa Unger. Lisa Unger wrote one of my most anticipated books for like last November. Have I read it yet? No. Do I own it? Yes. But can I use it for this readathon? No, because it's called Under My Skin. And that does not have any form of lying in it, so. Um, I don't know what this is about, to be honest. I just picked it because it said lies, so. We're going into it blind. I'm not gonna read the synopsis, so look it up on Goodreads if you're really interested, but apparently it's suspenseful, sensitive, sexy, and subtle. It's, uh, the best nail biter that Lee Child has read for ages, so. Might be good, might be bad, we don't know. The next book that I chose for this TBR is The Girl Who Lied, by Sue Fortin. Apparently it is a number one ebook bestseller. It follows these two friends who used to be the best of friends, but then a accident causes them to kind of drift apart, and then one friend finds out a secret about the other friend that could possibly ruin her life. But then she mysteriously disappears, so I'm thinking that the one friend made the other one disappear. Murder, murder, stabby, stabby. We're here for it. And then the final book that I chose for the TBR is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. I don't know what this is about other than Ruth Ware wrote it. I like Ruth Ware books, so we're going to go into it blind because personally, 
I think Ruth Ware books are way better when you go in blind, so that's the plan for this one. Hopefully I like it. My mom tried to read it, she couldn't get into it, so we're hoping that I can. Alright guys, so that was my Buzzword-a-thon TBR. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and let me know if you're participating in the Buzzword-a-thon, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!